What's going on guys, Saga Plays are coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So last video I only did one and that was the weather the weather archetype. Mainly because like I was slightly getting annoyed because the weather archetypes are somewhat annoying because they just got effects that can bounce stuff back to the hand, correlating with the specific trap cards and stuff. So today I am pretty much gonna be well, I mean, as you can clearly see here, there are only two left, the SP Deck Challenge and the Herald's Guidance. So Herald's Guidance is pretty much the last solo chapter in terms of learning a new archetype, while SP Challenge is uh, pretty much just going just a bunch of duels with whatever archetype they give me as a loner deck and then most likely my deck that I get to play with. But yeah, so I mean... Just today, I'll be doing the Herald's Guidance plus probably a 10-pack opening because I still should have access to it during the time I'm recording. I think I would have like roughly an hour or 30 minutes remaining by the time I am done with this, but that is fine. So let us continue on with today's video for the solo mode, and that shall be Herald's Guidance. Sorry for reiterating myself, but yeah. Uh, details are Herald's deploy effect from both the hand and the field with the ability to deter the opponent's actions. They light the way to an ordained destination. So what I get from that is it's a possible screw you, I'm just going to try and stop you in every way kind of deck. Alright, so I mean, let me just get a snippet. When your opponent activates a trap... Send this card and one other fairy monster from your hand to the grave. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, I just stop you in your tracks kind kind of deck. Which I am totally fine with. Because my friend does that to me in actual, in uh, Paper Yu-Gi-Oh. He makes troll decks. The rule of the gods had ended, and humans had ruled the earth for many ages. Though many gods have fled, many people continue to believe that the gods watched over the world, even as their visages changed. Visages changed. I'm just going to say visages changed. In a remote domain on a distant continent, gods had long been worshipped by the people living there. It was a god that spread its wings and emitted a blinding light from their entire body, the herald. Er, the Herald. Yeah, it's Herald, not Herald. Herald. Among those living thing, those living there, a few have seen or even heard the voice of the Herald. Though their depictions differed, they insisted that they'd seen the Herald. The atmosphere about it and its afterglow was precisely that of an angel. They pictured it in their minds, they told. And according to those who'd heard its voice, it hadn't actually made a sound. The meaning of the words came not through their ears, but directly into their minds, they told. And when asked if they'd seen or heard the herald, their replies were eerily consistent. It was always in moments of confession that it appeared. All assert their faded all assert they fainted soon after, but woke, awoke with a comforting feeling of forgiveness throughout their bodies. Some find it hard to believe these people's stories. Nonetheless, the Herald is worshipped by many people. Alright, practice. Okay. Let's see what makes you unique. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> so, okay, I could obviously tell rituals are its main boss monsters. And Link. They threw in Link there, in too. Okay, what makes a Herald deck unique? There are many Herald monsters that allow you to negate an opponent's effect by sending a fairy type monster from your hand to the graveyard. Although this is very powerful, take care to take care to use it in moderation as it can burn through your hand very quickly. 
it is best to use them only to negate the effect that will land you in difficult positions. Focus your strategies around Herald of ultimate, Ultimateness and Herald of Perfection. Cards that can negate many different types of effects. Okay. Ritual. <coughs> Oof. Sorry. Ritual. Yep. Just like a lot. Blue Eyes Ritual spells. Tribute a card that is equal in level to summon the original monster that is equal in level. Yep. But it's weird. Level 12 Ritual Monster with only 2,000 attack and 3,000 defense. End the turn? What? Oh, it's turn 1. But, um... When your opponent would special summon a monster or activate a spell trap card effect. Okay. Some one fairy monster from your hand to the grave. Negate the summoner effect. And if you do, destroy that card. Okay. So I guess like the boss monsters are pretty much uh, just like these don't require them to be tributed in order to activate their effect. They can just trigger it just by discarding a card from hand. Unlike the other one we read, which had it sacrifice, pretty much send itself plus a fairy from the hand to the grave. That kind of thing. All right. More orbs. I need like earth orbs and uh, wind orbs. I don't have many and I have too many dark orbs. All right, loner deck of green light. For all of green light. Okay, so that's one, that one's a spell. <clears throat> so let's see. I do like, I mean, pretty much, I do like how the solo chapters are like I hardly, I mean, like, it's give, giving people access to, like, different kinds of archetypes, gain them, see if they feel comfortable with them, that kind of thing, but, uh, this card is Sense of the Grave, banish up to two other fairy monsters from your field and or graveyard, add the same number of level two, okay, when this card is normal, summon, target one level, okay, one fairy from... You can turn from your deck or extra deck to the grave. If you do, increase this card's level by the... Okay. So if this card is tributed, you can special summon. Ritual. So I'm going to set that down for sure. That's useless. Different heralds of light. Kind of bit. I'll set that. And end the turn there. Okay, so this feels to bell works in my favor too. Ow. Yes. Manage up to two other fairy monsters from your field and our graveyard. Okay. Mm. Summon. Use you. And I get you back. <clears throat> Link Karibo declares an attack tribute this card until the end of turn if this card is a tribute level so no it's 14 6 so that's two monsters with the same attribute and stuff um 1850 target one light monster in your opponent's graveyard special limit to your zone this card points to you if this Link Summon card will destroy or destroy it Okay, add one light um, destroyed by an opponent's card effect while it's in its owner's, mon owner's monster zone. You can add one light. Def okay. Uh, all light monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Okay. Uh, if this card is destroyed by power card effect, target one light monster in your graveyard, add to the hand. You some one fairy monster from the hand to the grave, negate, destroy it. If this card is in your possession sent. To the grave, add up to two ritual monsters. Okay, you.
Okay. Eva, uh... No. I'll save that for later. And the turn there. Yeah, I can get a ritual monster from this, so that's good. Okay. For all the protection, level six, level eight. Still no good. Yes. No. Send it to the grave. I'll do that. Activate you. And I'll you and you. Finish these two. From the deck to the hand. Okay. Three you. And from your opponent, uh, you. Okay. Battle. Destroy you. End the turn. All right. Uh, crap. I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, back to, like, what I kind of wanted from the solo modes and stuff. Like, I somewhat wish that, uh... Yeah, okay. That's good. That's good. Draw lightning storm. Hmm. Summon you... Link summon you. <clears throat> Alright, trigger you. Uh, I can send you these two. Nope. You. And you. Battle. Even if it boosts his cards, I got two Link monsters. So that is fine by me. Uh, Link for Nightmare Unicorn. And, or Link 3 Nightmare. Field spell. Discard one spell card. Sure. Ah. I'll just pay the 1500 life points. Activate. Uh, discard a spell, add one ritual or ritual spell. Yep. I'll just get rid of Feather, Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, someone for it, negate the activation. No. Six, two, two. Some new battle. Ooh, that's a waste of an attack there. That's fine. The turn. Uh, back to what I was saying about the solo deck. Sorry, kind of got sidetracked with dueling and talking. I can never f think of something while talking about another. Thank you.
draw summon so you must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels okay yeah so six so what ritual six two uh di someone fairy to the graveyard increases this level's monster its level sure honest activate you okay Uh, to special one, uh, sure. Screw you. Battle. You just draw cards. I'm still not going to let you. But uh, back to what I was saying. So like, uh, solo mode gets you access to archetypes and everything. Ah, I'm still in battle. Which is nice, but like, I also kind of want to see, like, <coughs> see like some of the more popular archetypes. Like Dark Magician, Cyber, Cyber Dragon, Red Eyes, or the classics really. Blue Eyes, those archetypes, because like, be, me, like, everyone, they got their own tastes. Me, I made a, I like cyber dragons, but I also like generic dragons as well. The only reason I made a blue eyes deck was just because too many people were wearing that at the time. And also, blue eyes is also good for trying to end a game quickly, like the solo, the solo chapters, solo chapter duels using my deck. So that's nice. Okay. Draw. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wait. When a monster would be special summoned or when a spell trap. Oof. Dang, that one hurt. Okay. Activate. Destroy all the spell and traps. Yeah, just try and make him use up cards. Even if they won't get through, they will still make it so that he has to use them up, which is nice. The computer. Is going to try and protect the board. Okay. When a, your opponent activates a monster effect. Sure. Soul morning. That's right. Keep paying the 2000. And with no cards in hand. I can now make use of a lot more things. All right. Blue eyes, twin burst, battle. Activate you. And I get me a blue eyes. Oop, no, continue the battle. Continue the battle. Alright. But uh, back to what I do hope, like, Konami does allow, like, a solo chapter of the archetypes at one, some of the other archetypes at one point, because that would be nice just to get, like, be able to see some of the popular ones plus like 
get them more comfortable with a bunch of different methods. Uh, you can banish this card from Trail One Blue Eyes. Add to the hand. Hmm. That's fine though. Battle. And this Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Alright. That's not even 30 minutes. Wow. I mean, the description was right. For her all, you can burn through your hand quickly. Just by discarding them. What is this? Her all of pure light. Hmm. Alright. Let us now read. <clears throat> in the frontier, the Herald is enshrined in a temple. As for when this temple was constructed, nobody knows. It is old, but well maintained, and has a sacred, solemn atmosphere about it. However, depending on who you ask, the, that structure may have an unusual aura about it. It appears not to have been built as a place of worship, but to contain something merely covered up as a shrine. The center part is hidden, and it is said that there are God's statues inside. And into the, that inner sanctum, only a select few priests or diviners are allowed. The diviner of the herald, the person who receives the oracle from the herald, she claims that, from a certain age, she began to hear the voice. After many trials and tests, tests, a priest determined that the voice she heard belonged to the herald. This diviner is not one who commands the people. Her role is to correctly decipher the oracles for people and protect them from natural disasters. Her resolute power in connection with people had helped pass along to future generations her role of diviner. And one girl will continue as the new diviner to connect people with the gods. Alright, that's the herald archetype. But yeah, I do, obviously I know they're going to be coming out with a lot more soul chapters in the future. Because I mean, uh, uh, no. Because I mean, next video... I mean, there's no way. Let's just do a quick snippet. Uh, challenge yourself to a duel against a special deck and win. Uh, instead of a snippet, I'll we'll look at it first time next video on Tuesday. And then I'll figure out how to break it up. Because I did somewhat take a look online. And it's like broken up into, like, there's a bunch of duels. So, I don't know yet. But let us open up a pack. Because, I mean, uh, technically we oop, that's still solo mode. Suddenly, we, if I did Herald yesterday, along with uh, the weather archetype, uh, I pretty much could have started the SP challenge today, but nah, I'm not. Yeah, I got an hour left on these guys. Uh, so, I mean, there are these three. I don't really care about heroes. Soldiers of the Storm, nah. But Cyber Dragon, Stardust, Dark Magician. Uh, let me see. Any meeny money mo catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. I am going to pick the packs that are going to be good, and it is going to be you. Stardust it is. Ten packs, please. And open. Slow roll all of them. And if I hit skip, we do another ten. Alright, Ancient Gear. I forgot that was in here. I do still want to make an Ancient Gear deck on here at one point. I don't know. Because this CP... The car... The rarity points. You'll, if you want to call them that. Because... I mean, on Arena, they... You just call them mythic cards, common cards, rare cards, that kind of thing. Here, like, they're you, they were in like a hexagonal shape, so I guess I call them points, card points, that kind of thing. Wow, shooting riser and shooting star in the same pack. Stardust Chronicle Spark, hmm, Majestic Red, Ah, uh, Earthbound Moro, Vera Quacharasca, Quacharasca, huh? But yeah. Uh, 
there's Utopic Future. Hmm. But yeah, uh, that takes a while to collect, and I am not willing to spend actual money here unless it's like someone gifts me or something like that. And that I'm not saying you guys should. It's just my kind of thing because college student, so gotta save as much as possible. But also, I do try and like get play in order to pretty much like I'm also kind of using cards as my additional fund, if you can say, in air quotes. Like playing, I'm getting play with them and everything, but like, huh? Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bear, but like pretty much cards hobby for the time be until like I grow old and I can no longer play that kind of thing then I might as well either hand them down to who, whoever my kid if I have one or someone I know that plays ah a crystal wing crystal wing synchro dragons magician form yeah but yeah I mean all my cards, I don't know what I'll do with them. Because, I mean, they all... Not all of them, but, like, a good bit of them have value. That kind of thing. So, eh. Who knows? Alright. And the total amount of Ultra Rares is one. That's nice. But I did get... Five, six, seven, eight... Eight uh, super rares and then rares and commons, normals. Pretty much, I gotta think of this as like magic, mythic rare, rare, uh, uncommon, and common. And then I think there's like a bit more rarities, but whatever. Four out of eight cards per pack are guaranteed feature cards, okay? But that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the solo chapters. Next off will be the SP Duel, like I said earlier. But, yep, this is Saga Plays signing out. See you Tuesday. Bye.